morning, Professor Hitao. You are director of the Research Center for Solar Energy at the China Academy of Building Research. You are also vice chairman and representing China in the IAEA solar heating and cooling program. China is actually the largest market on solar heating and cooling technologies worldwide, and you had a strong focus in the last 20 years of your work on quality improvements in your country. Uh, which milestones did you reach so far? Okay, so I, I want to talk about the um, milestone about uh, the whole Chinese uh, solar industry uh, achieved, reached. Uh, firstly, I think the um, first uh, milestone was in 1990s. We developed uh, three national standards, including uh, uh, test method for the solar water heaters and the technical requirement uh, uh, about uh, the solar collectors and uh, vacuum tubes. But uh, at that time, uh, there are no uh, national testing centers, uh, just uh, some uh, uh, institutes and uh, universities can use these standards to test the product. So this uh, is the first milestone, I think. The second milestone um, was uh, achieved in 2000, yes. And, uh, uh, at that time, and under the funding of uh, UNDP, you know, yeah, uh, we revised uh, those uh, national testing standards according to the ISO standard. And more important, we established uh, three testing centers, national testing centers, and um, certification bodies. So that, that means today that the industry can uh, test their products. That means a solar water heater is tested in a uh, test lab via, via international standards. So the, the client who purchases the product has a good guarantee on the product. Yes, yes, because the national standard now is uh, compliant with uh, the international testing standards. Yeah, so the uh, government uh, uh, started to uh, supervise the uh, product's uh, quality um, and uh, according to the new standards by the national testing standards and the certification bodies. Yeah. So what is your feeling? I mean, you might have a thousand manufacturers in China because you have a very big market and a big country. How many have certified, certified their products yet? Yes. Yeah, but uh, firstly, we established the three uh, testing center uh, to ensure the, um, the, the the testing capacity, and uh, uh, according to the supervised uh, testing result, uh, almost uh, eighty percent uh, uh, quality is uh, is good enough for the market, but uh, and the the, the uh, quality now is uh, also improving uh, very quickly now, yes. So, so you mean 80% of the products on the market are certified? Uh, yeah, and the tested. Are tested. Yeah, but uh, um, certified is, uh, I think, uh, only 30% uh, uh, was certified. Ah, so you mean 30% of the products on the market are certified, but they all perform very well yes. in the tests? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I think you recently, or oh, you have another milestone? Yeah. Another milestone, I think, uh, is the latest, uh, latest uh, uh, happened in 2010, I think. Uh, yeah, uh, 2010. Yeah. At uh, that time, yeah, we uh, upgraded the testing facility. For example, we have uh, uh, indoor sim uh, solar simulation systems, and also we became the a P member of TC180, ISO TC180 committee, and joined the 
IA solar heating and cooling program. Uh, we can we also developed uh, some uh, international ISO standards as a project leader. The, this uh, I think uh, indicate we are um, more and more active in the international solar industry. So you have studied a lot the conditions in other countries in terms of standard. What did you have to adapt when you come to China? Because you have a very particular market with a lot of thermosiphon system. That means you have natural circulation systems. Mm -hmm. So what is special in your country? I, I think especially is uh, for the product uh, performance testing method, I think is um, is. Uh, the same as the uh, international standards. But we, uh, our national standard will have uh, some basic requirement, technical requirement for uh, uh, various, uh, 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 yeah, yes. You, you have to fulfill the basic requirement, maybe in the, International standards, there are no such requirements. In that, in international standards, you it just tell you how to test the performance. They don't tell you uh, uh, what what is the best requirement for the figures. <laughs> Yeah. So, so you mean the the test is only looking at the product itself and how it will perform yeah. in the system afterwards is not clear. Yeah. Is this yeah. what you mean? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So China, I think you are, it has ambitious targets. You have today 400 million square meters installed, which yeah. is uh, the world absolute record. Mm. So you want to add another 400,000 until the year. 2020. Is this a realistic target? Yes, I believe. I believe we can achieve this goal because uh, you know, in today's amount, today's uh, um, uh, 400 thousand square meters, they are only less than uh, one percent uh, is from the space heating market. Yeah. Uh, so this is a very big yeah. option yeah. for the future. Yeah, because the Swiss heating market uh, is uh, much, much bigger than uh, domestic uh, hot water market. Yeah. So we will really see some key and record figures again in the future in China. Yes, if we can, we can promote the solar heating system in Swiss heating market, for example, 20% of this market, so we can achieve that target, yes. Excellent, so very good luck for your work and thank you very much for the interview. Okay, thank you, thank you.